Hi, Hi guys. guys. Perform an earth science activity entitled Activity 1 Water, Rocks, and Soil. Activity 2 Break Me Down. Let's, Let's go! go! One, two, ready, go. Different types of rock are found all over the ground. What started as a rock can become beaten down. It happens every day, whether we notice or not. Let us proceed to the procedure. The rock cycle In performing this activity, the we should be careful and follow the steps. Weathering, erosion, and Pour the water in the glass jar. Make sure that it's only half filled. Put the small and the subtract samples. Is always pulling things down. Then cover the tight lid. Shake the glass for about two minutes. Down. Rain beats down on surfaces and weathers parts away. Waves pound constantly and they create more sand each day. Remove the cover of the glass jar. Replace it with a piece of cloth tied at the brim of the water bottle with the use of the rubber band. Then, turn the glass upside down to empty the water in the bottle. Atmospheric changes cause the air to start to move. When the water is gone, remove the piece of cloth from the jar and examine the rock samples. The following questions must be answered. What have you observed in your rock samples? I observed that the sample rocks broke down into tiny rocks. And after the experiment, I also noticed that the rocks became clean because the piece of cloth absorbed the soil. What do you think is the purpose of the water in this activity? Water sold in this activity is to break and hydrate the rocks, similar to how it plays in chemical weathering. In chemical weathering, water plays a key role in three ways. First, it reacts with the carbon dioxide into the soil to generate carbonic acid, a weak acid. Second, water can hydrate minerals by extracting onto the lattice of the mineral. Finally, Hydrolysis allows water to break up minerals. What have you realized in this activity? Physical weathering is exemplified by this practice we've noted. The water in this activity is the one that caused the rocks to break down. Its chemical compositions remain the same, the rock simply breaks and crumbles into smaller fragments. Different types of rock are found all over the ground. What started as a rock can become beaten down. It happens every day, whether we notice or not. Because it Let's proceed slowly, to the procedure. The rock cycle is an afterthought. Prepare the cups that we will be using in this activity. The cups will be assigned with water at room temperature, hot water, and room temperature vinegar. For each assigned liquid, is the equivalent tablet to be placed inside, whole, broken, and crushed. Do this in 9 setups. Label the cups according to the particle size of the antacid you will be dissolving. Use a mortar and pestle to break and crush the tablet. Then, put 100 ml of assigned liquid to the cups. Drop the tablet into the appropriate cups. Record the time when you place the tablet, and the time that the tablet has completely dissolved and no traces of the tablet is visible. Atmospheric changes cause the air to start to move. Sometimes this wind is constant and in rocks it weathers grooves. Sometimes it picks up sand and carves the rock surface away. Because it happens slowly, we don't notice changes every day. Weathering, erosion, and deposition How did this sediment end up in this position? 
The force of gravity is always pulling things down. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown. When the temperature drops to 32, we get some ice and snow. Over years, glaciers can form, and through valleys, they bulldoze. This ice gets into cracks and rock, expands and breaks the rock down. Which tablet size and liquid combination resulted in fastest dissolution time? Based on our observation, the tablet size and liquid combination resulted in fastest dissolution time is vinegar, acetic acid, and crushed antacid tablet. What is the relationship between the particle size and the time it takes for the tablet to dissolve? How does this relationship apply to weathering in nature? The relationship between the particle size and the time it takes to dissolve for a tablet is that the smaller the particle size, the faster the tablet to dissolve. The larger the particle size, the slower the tablet to dissolve. This relationship holds true in nature because as the particle size increases, the weathering rate decreases, while as the particle size decreases, the weathering rate increases. Using the activity as a model, explain how mechanical weathering contributes to chemical weathering. How can you demonstrate that chemical weathering can hasten mechanical weathering? Based on the activity that we perform, we've noticed that as we break the antacid tablet into smaller pieces, its dissolution time gets faster and faster. This shows that mechanical weathering increases the overall surface area when it breaks down the antacid tablet as a representation of rocks into smaller fragments. Increased surface area provides more space for chemical weathering to attack the antacid tablets or rocks, allowing the chemical weathering to speed up. Compare dissolution times in room temperature and hot water. Using this model, what can you deduce about the relationship between temperature and weathering rate? After the experiment, I noticed that the antacid tablet dissolves faster in the hot water or the high temperature than the normal temperature. The higher the temperature, the higher the possibility to increase the rate of chemical weathering or the breaking dumps of rock into small particles. But in a normal temperature, there is a lower chance of chemical weathering or it takes a long, long time to break down the rocks into small particles. Is there a marked difference in the dissolution rate in water and vinegar, both at room temperature? What caused the difference? What does the solution in vinegar simulate in nature? There is a distinction in the solution. The difference was caused by pressure and temperature as water can cause considerable chemical weathering. The rate of weathering in hot water is the highest, while the rate of weathering in vinegar is the lowest. When antacid tablets soak through the vinegar, it reacts chemically with it, causing the tablet to dissolve. In what environment would weathering rate be fastest, slowest? Explain your reason based on the observation from the lab activity. The amount of water in the air and the temperature of an area are both part of an area's climate. Moisture speeds up of chemical weathering. Weathering occurs fastest in hot, wet climates and occurs very slowly in hot and dry climates. A cold and dry climates will produce the lowest rate of weathering. A warm and wet climate will produce the highest rate of weathering. Weathering erosion and deposition How did this sediment end up in this position? The force of gravity is always pulling things down.